What's up, wrestling fans? So there's not a ton of news today. Uh, there's a little, but there is a little bit of news, and I have a bombshell, which I don't normally have this. Uh, so we're gonna get to that as well. Um, there's a bunch of little interesting little things to talk about. I'm gonna bring those things up. Um, but for the first time, I have some interesting news about Killer Cross, Scarlett Boudreaux, and what happened in WWE. I've only used this source three other times in five years. I'm not a news reporter guy. I don't break news a lot of times. But there are a few people that I speak to who are legitimate and in companies and in places. Um, and, and over the years, you know, probably like I said, I've probably broken z zero news over the past ten years of being on YouTube. I think I've broken about ten zero news stories. But what I have done has been write about things early on because of, inf of people clarifying uh, rumors that are out there. This is one of those situations, though, where I actually got a piece of news uh, that makes sense and could actually be the reason and explain why Scarlett Boudreaux and Killer Cross didn't end up working out in WWE and all these other things. Um, so that's very interesting. We're going to get to that in a second, uh, plus a bunch of other little things and everything. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you like it. And I mean, seriously, click that like button now, okay, so people can get wet. I mean, look at Scarlett. Uh, plus, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, Bray Wyatt trended again because of the vignette on Raw, which is hilarious to me. Because uh, unless they're throwing us through a curve, some kind of weird curveball, I, I you know that I don't know about. Uh, a lot of people think it's got to do with Edge. That's what I said early on that it had to do plenty with Edge. But now with the fire stuff and things like that, people aren't sure. I saw a Chalice the other night. I mean, it, to me, it's 100% Edge related. Uh, or, you know, sure, it could have something. What the fuck is going on with my goddamn phone beeping every goddamn second? What the hell? Um, Jesus Christ. Um, but no, so I, I think it's uh, Edge and maybe possibly Gangrel with Edge or whatever. So it's it's something to do with that, uh, with those two guys, you know, I think. But, yeah, sure, could it be Bray Wyatt, whatever. I don't think so. I don't care about Bray Wyatt anymore. Until I see Bray Wyatt, I couldn't give a crap. I just literally don't care, um, you know, at this point about Bray Wyatt at all. Until I see him somewhere, then it will be exciting. Until then, I don't care. And I don't think I'm going to. I feel like I'm not going to see him somewhere. And honestly, he's not that great in the ring anyway anymore. I couldn't care. He's all character, and they ruin the character uh, in WWE for the most part. And uh, that's about it. Uh, let me get to the Scarlet Boudreaux and Killer Cross um, rumor breaking, whatever you want to call it, story that I have. But first, let's diss the acclaimed. By the way, I love the acclaimed, but quite honestly, if I got myself a tag team partner, I think we could really turn them into faces. <laughs> Again. Uh, yeah. The acclaimed, oh, yeah. top of the chain, so I bet you know the name. Yeah. Getting all the fans entertained. The yeah. acclaimed, running in the game, and we in our own lane. Everybody saying that they want to be acclaimed. The acclaimed, the acclaimed, you should be ashamed. Your parents are to blame. You're both stupid and lame. Your bolt must be worried. Your bolt must be hiding. Because your nude's about to leak worse than Hunter Biden. Ass boys. Scissor me, what are you doing? Just admit, there's not a hole you wouldn't screw in. You lame as hell, never been the champs. Cause you're too busy in each other's pants. Just get married and release the news before you get beaten in the ring by two straight dudes. The acclaimed, you should be ashamed. Make me sick. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Killer Cross discussed concerns about being paired with Scarlett in WWE recently, and, um, this goes along with sort of the news I have. So he talked about my biggest concern is I didn't want her to just be this person, uh, that's walking next to me, Cross said. So it's funny because in this article, Killer Cross or whatever, they, they, they he sort of tries to, like, he sort of paints Scarlett like she's, like... Oh, you know, I felt bad because, you know, I'm a wrestler and, you know, she's just a, you know, I didn't want her to be insignificant. I wanted her to mean something, blah, blah, blah. And that that's part of what he gives an excuse for her not being up there on the main roster. But what I've heard and what I've been told by somebody is that the reason that Scarlett Boudreaux didn't come up with Killer Cross, the real reason that, that's, that this didn't happen is... 
people in the back like Vince McMahon, but especially like Bruce Pritchard and those type of people, they were worried that Killer Cross would be ruined if he didn't stand on his own. They felt that Scarlett Boudreaux would actually surpass him and be the all about her, and it would be another Sable Mark Marrow situation. So the wrestling people at the top, like Bruce Pritchard, Vince McMahon, things like that, they were actually trying to protect Killer Cross because they were worried about him being overshadowed by Scarlett Boudreaux. So in this article where Killer Cross says, oh, you know, I didn't want to just bring her in and, you know, overshadow her, you know, without importance and stuff like that. It's funny because he's talking like he's this amazing thing and she's nothing. But honestly, the, the, the brass at WWE were more worried that she would surpass him and he would be Mark Marrowed. And that is certainly, I can see what they were thinking. And that's, that's the big news that I got from my person who, who worked in WWE at the time. And that's the thing that I'm getting. And when I heard that from him, who's a very legitimate source, who only tell, has told me a couple things ever and they were right, man, does that make sense. It finally makes sense to me. We could never figure it out. We always were like, why isn't she with him? Why isn't she there with him? And, yeah, we get these little vague things like him saying, like, oh, I didn't want to, you know, outshine her or something like that. It's like, dude, you won't. So Killer Cross won't even admit that, they were worried she would outshine him. Instead, he says that he was worried about outshining her and her not meeting enough. That's hilarious. It's literally the opposite of what probably would have happened and opposite of what the WWE officials thought. They were worried that he was going to get Mark Marrowed. That is super interesting. It finally makes sense because we said, why in the hell wouldn't these two come up together and be a pair? They were in NXT. So whatever, that's the that's the answer, I guess. I mean, I still would have paired them together. I wouldn't have cared. I would have said, I don't care. Put them together and see what happens. They're they're they come as a pair. They're together as a couple. You know, uh, put them up there and see what happens. Or or maybe yes, maybe I agree. Debut Killer Cross by himself, and um, you know, let him stand for a little bit and then bring her in. But honestly, I I, I would have thought it would have been fine for her to come out first. And make this big presentation of what you're all about to see. You're not ready for. Imagine if Scarlett Boudreaux had come out on Raw. And been like, what you're all about to see, you're not ready for. And then she was like, she like rubbed her chest down to her stomach like this. And then like turned around and looked at everybody. And then, and she went, you are about. And she's like doing that whole thing where she's rubbing her legs and her body. And she's like, to experience... Like and it's like this whole thing that like oh she gets turned on by her guy beating people up and they just do that why didn't they just do that then it would have made him feel important she's this important manager and valet figure for him like it would have been so good to debut him and her like that I don't know why you wouldn't do that but now we know they were literally legitimately worried that just her looks we're going to outshine him, and we were going to get another Mark Marrow situation. That's crazy. If you, What do you guys think about this? I mean, it's a bombshell story. I believe it. it it's coming from a person who worked in fucking the back. Um, I believe this story. I think it's 100% true. I've heard nobody else mention this, I don't think. Uh, I don't believe. So finally, breaking news maybe on the Joe Cronin Show here. Uh, if it's wrong, it's maybe it's wrong. I don't know. I'd love to hear from Killer Cross and Scarlett Boudreaux themselves. Uh, but uh, who knows? Uh, they certainly are welcome to contact me. Twitter, my Twitter's down for six more days, or uh, JoeCronShowYahoo.com. But I mean, you know, I try to reach out to them for a comment. But again, like I said, my Twitter's down, so I can't. Uh, but you know, either way, I think they're both great. I think obviously them together is this ke chemistry. I would argue I'm not worried about her overshadowing him. I'm not worried about him overshadowing her. I'm literally worried that the two of them aren't together because the two of them have this chemistry that is great, and that's what they should be working together. And without that, he seemed bizarre on the main roster. Not the Killer Cross isn't uh, okay by himself, you know? But it's just it's weird, man. I don't know. I, I, I still would have gone with that, I, you know? It, so what? If, it, if, if he gets overshadowed, do something with it. I don't know, but I do understand their concern going back to that. Road Dog remembers heated disagreements with CM Punk. I mean, who doesn't? 
remember or mis not remember having a heated argument with CM Punk. By the way, guys, if you guys like this video and you like my videos, click the like button and leave a super thanks down below if it's possible, if it's up there. If it's down there and you see the super thanks thing, drop a super thanks. I will pin the top super thanks person to the comment. Or if you want to support the show more directly, um, then you guys can use uh, paypal.me slash Joe Cronin Show or become a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Uh, podcast going up there uh, today. So at some point you can look for that. Uh, but yeah, Road Dog says, uh, you know, uh, he had heated arguments with uh, CM Punk and um, he would start a conversation. It basically started a conversation. A grassroots wrestling fan, this big Hollywood guy went away and now he's coming back and they they want me, the, the workhorse, to wrestle him. Uh, and he, he went on to say, like, you know, things like, you know, that there needed to all be all, like that. CM Punk was acting like a diva. He felt before he was a diva. You know, he was acting like a diva, acting like The Rock or Stone Cold would nowadays, maybe, uh, or when Rock, uh, the way Stone Cold acted towards Brock Lesnar. CM Punk was like that every day. I mean, I guess that's sort of what you know Road Dog is saying. Um, so I want to tease that because I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to the whole podcast. I'm gonna break it down. And I'm gonna be doing a video soon about how about everybody that hates CM Punk or the critical things people say about CM Punk. And I'm going to sort of get into it because, I don't know, I, and I don't know how I feel. Like I said, people like CM Punk, I like people that go against the system, usually, and stuff like that. But, I, you know, what I don't like is people that are just super difficult for the reason of being difficult for no real reason. You know, that's kind of dumb and annoying and stupid. Um, and sometimes I think he borders on that, you know. I, again, like, it, it plays into the whole AJ Styles is racist, you know. If he is, let everybody know why you're saying that. It, you know what I mean? Otherwise, why are you saying that? Because I see tons of people that like him who are not white people. So, but you're saying AJ Styles is a racist. So, again, like sometimes it's like CM Punk. I don't he, like. There's no credibility sometimes, or there is maybe. I don't know. Just help me prove that so I can find out what kind of person you are. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Patreon.com/slash Joe Cronin Show. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're brand new, man. We'd love to have you every day. Wrestling videos news videos. I'm going to be having some new videos soon, new format coming. Uh, don't know if I'll uh, ever review Raw again at this point. Uh, nine years straight of Raw reviews. It may be done. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. Decided. But last night was awful. Raw just murdered my soul, wasted my time and your time and uh, everybody's time and it was just atrocious and disgusting. Uh, but then again, whatever. WWE doesn't care. They don't care. You know? Whatever. Who cares? I've said it all at this point. Nobody will ever listen. Whatever. Here's some other videos popping up that you might have missed. And I'll see you guys later.